Thanks. Thank you, Mr. Chairman, and it's a pleasure to serve under your chairmanship. Mr. Chairman, it was with a mixture of relief and disbelief to the point of amusement that I have now heard austerity is over. So perhaps the Prime Minister could let us know when we expect to feel or see any difference, because all many of my constituents are seeing and feeling right now is the anger and upset of their lives being blighted by antisocial behaviour. And it is austerity which I blame for this unacceptable rise in antisocial behaviour. And as always, those who deserve it the very least are expected to pay the highest price. Surely it is not too much to say that in our modern society, everybody has the right to feel safe and secure at home. And I stand here today to represent everyone in my constituency whose lives have been made a misery by antisocial behaviour. And my constituents and I have clear demands and expectations for the Minister, and I do hope that they will be listened to carefully and addressed today. And to summarise, what I am asking for today is for the Government to reverse the 31% in funding cuts to Humberside Police since 2010, to follow Labour's lead in committing to a fully funded statutory youth service, to change the school accountability system and increase funding for schools to prevent the increasing number of children being off-rolled and excluded, to increase funding for social workers and early intervention programmes by increasing the children's services budget, and to increase money for support community groups in grassroots solutions to antisocial behaviour. 